Let's talk about this bad boy here. This is a wobble condensator. You get a big box like this with an on-off switch. It's mains powered and you have a plug for the capacitor and then you have a sweep setting. Uh, yeah, so what does wobble condensator mean? Um, wobble makes kind of sense. Um, and a condensator is a capacitor. So let me quickly open this up. It's very easy. You just pop four screws. Also, don't do this when it's uh, plugged into mains. I've watched a lot of Heinbach these days and he's uh, using a lot of test equipment to make music and I thought ah, well let's check eBay for a while and then I stumbled over this and it was 60 bucks. I don't know why I paid that much but yeah I paid it. The mechanism alone was worth it and we'll see it in a minute or a second. Right. So here it is. <laughs> so what we have here is a motor with a gear. And when you turn the knob, it goes up and down. This up here is a capacitor and it's a variable capacitor. And when it's turning, the value of it changes. So you probably get now where we are going with the wobble part of it. I just have to be a bit on the safe side because the plug is broken. Plug it in first, then power on the socket. And as you can see, the capacitor part of it is rotating. And it's faster and the fastest setting. Turning it off again, and now I'll put it in the box so we can work with this a bit. Good. Now let's quickly whip up a 401006. Let's grab a wire for the resistor. I gotta calculate this because um, the value of the capacitor is right now 350, well 400 to 800, uh, not nano but uh, microfarad. I gotta find a better resistor value for, for the frequency. I mean 1k definitely doesn't do anything. I think I have a 1m resistor in here somewhere. So let's see if anything changes if we use this. <laughs> uh, is it still too high? I don't know. We're getting somewhere. Let's make it faster. One more resistor. Mm -hmm. Mm 
So I'm guessing this capacitor, or there's, there's a bank here that switches the capacitor. This is the standard value. This is just a capacitor inside that's turning. And this is both together, so... I guess that's the range added to the other one. Alright. One more capacitor. Uh, resistor. I should quickly sort of relax together here. Okay. It's horrible, but also kind of cool. So I have about 2 mega ohm as resistors between, um, yeah, on the... <laughs> okay. But I like it. So I have about 16 mega ohms um, on that capacitance here to make a sound on the 4010.6. Uh, I think that's quite a lot, but I'm not sure. Um, so to get into the hearable range, you definitely have to add a huge resistance first and then add another variable resistor to get some other sweeps out of it. Um, but I also think this is very hackable. You can probably get rid of the gears and make a variable motor speed controller. And then you get uh, different speeds um, of sweeps. Why did I buy it? You shut up. Kind of fun instrument and it's very noisy. It's not an instrument. If you have any idea what people could use, have used this for, um, the range goes from 200 hertz to 4 kilohertz. Maybe I'm using this completely wrong, but it is a capacitor. Yeah, so thanks everyone for watching. I um, hope you have a nice day. See you soon. Bye.